he who has knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace, when he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Proverbs 17 27 28 Good day my father, my God and King forevermore. Hallowed be your name and blessed are your words of life and promise, of good and training to our hearts. Thank you so much for giving us your Bible. Your love letters and instructions for us till the return of Jesus. We need you, Lord, your spirit and your truth. We need your words that we too would hide them in our hearts that we may not fall short and that we will do all that we can for the good of your kingdom. Bless the reading of these words penned by King Solomon so long ago but so true still today if not more so. I come to read and pray in Jesus' holy name, Amen. Father, we should have learned by trail and error that this is true, that being quiet and careful with our words when we speak is paramount to getting along and not causing more strife and disagreements. When we feel the need to argue and carry on a disagreement we only add fuel to a fire with our tongues. Lord, our egos are such a mess when we feel the need to prove our own rightness. I still at times catch myself wanting to correct someone when I think I know the right thing. There are times when it is needful and or helpful to correct a mistake, but how many times is it not good to even try when it is a small thing, unimportant. It is a blessing to learn when and how to share when it is good and needful, but to hold our tongues when it is not. Lord. I think that being of a calm spirit and in peace with ourselves and our need to be right or prove our points is a gift from your spirit in us. I know I cannot do this on my own. Stilling these lips has been a work you have been doing in me for years. I still can talk but I am way more careful with my words than I was long ago. This is to your glory and honor and not my own. I am not the same woman I was and I am very thankful Lord for your transforming grace in and over me for all these years. Almost every day, if not every single day, I shut these lips when I would love to reply or correct, make my own opinion known. But I am learning to choose when to share and when not to. This is your help and grace gifts to me. It is like when they say, is it helpful? Is it necessary? Is it true? Is it good or will it bring about something good by sharing it? Otherwise keep my mouth shut except to be a blessing and one who builds up and not tears down with my words and attitudes. Is it perceptive to hold one's tongue? Even when we may be fools? I guess it can appear so to others when we simply listen and not put in our two cents worth. Maybe we will seem to be wise to be good listeners. We all could use more people who really do take time to listen to us when we need to share something, a burden or care. I know how many times I would have loved to have someone to talk to who would care and really be with me in that moment. We have you, Lord, but sometimes we just need some flesh and blood there with us. I know you know this about us. That is why you told us to be salt and light to those around us. But am I ever so happy? thankful, that I have you to come to all the time with no closing hours. Ability to live. Lord, we are learning about what grace is in our study time, that it is more than forgiveness of our sins, but it is your spirit indwelling us and giving us the power to live above our own abilities in and of ourselves but to do good and great things because you are really living in and through us, to others and for others. Grace is more wonderful than I ever knew before and it is helping me see and understand and walk out my faith better than I was. I can never, never, Lord, thank you for all you have done for me, are doing right now and will do forever. Praise your holy and very loving name above all other names, the name of Jesus. Lord, I must go into this new day you have given me I need your grace covering over me today. Please walk with me and talk with me, I pray. Teach me how to walk in your ways and to love more like you love. I ask this all in and by your name Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you for your protection and provision for me and my loved ones. Thank you so. Amen.